didn't know at all. I am going to find a new plant for Froco soon, but the award for the most dramatic plant I've ever owned goes to my new citrus tree. After a few weeks, it's now, like over the past three days, it started shedding leaves and citrus fruit like crazy. I really don't know what made it so upset, so I've tried to spray the leaves as much as possible today. Moved it over to the window where it can get plenty of light and some fresh air and hopefully I can save it. My lemon tree on the other hand has never complained about her living situation. She's doing very well and have been all through winter. So um, she's very easy to care for. And she's gonna grow bigger as you can see. And my ivy, which I brought in from the garden this winter, she's doing so well. She's very full and yeah, just enjoying life. And it's the first time I've ever had so much luck with an ivy. So I'm proud. And then last of all, this new plant that I just bought. I hope she's going to grow long as well. It's like a ginger shot. That's not bad. It tastes very healthy, but fresh and summerly. Wow. I've been taking Ritual's clinical backed multivitamin for a month now and today's video is sponsored by Ritual themselves because after 10 years on YouTube it's no secret of mine anymore that when I'm busy I tend to deprioritize my meals sometimes I skip meals and I take the easy choices at times Ritual is made for women by a woman who wanted to find a vitamin supplement with a transparent supply chain and when she couldn't find it, she made her own. Ritual is therefore formulated based on transparency and purely with high quality clean ingredients and they're third party tested for heavy metals. In a busy life it just feels so reassuring that I get the vitamins I need and that I know how they were formulated and why. So if you want to try Rituals, they have made me a discount code on 25% off your first order. I'm going to leave all of the necessary information down below. Thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring today's video and for some transparent vitamins for women. Mm. It's my first ever egg sandwich. Slightly dry, but it's good.
The collection I'm working on this week is going to be named Season of Lilacs because it's full of purple and lilac tones. It's going to be so spring themed and beautiful, not with a big focus on vintage, but I have found some amazing styles and some new um, jewelry that are gonna launch on the webshop this week, including these amazing earrings. So, first outfit is not purple, <laughs> but look how cute! Amazing skirt and matching top. These are just some of the pieces from Season of Lilacs because I've already photographed most bits at home, but I have this one to photograph green with purple flowers and then this one and some vintage so here is a tiny peek at the collection of like this outfit the new cotton blouse this amazing vintage skirt with flowers very romantic I've picked out a few purple showstoppers from the vintage collection in the back and this dress is one of them. It's so gorgeous. When I don't hold it, it's a little bit too big for me, but it's long. Like, look at these layers and styles with these earrings. They're so pretty. It's possible that I've kept this dress in the back for around two years now because it's so beautiful. But I think it's the perfect match for this collection this week. So it's time to part with her. 70s maxi dress puff sleeves. I love the pattern and the color scheme. And then it's long. Yeah. And I'm now back in my own outfit. Heading out. Last night, a big business boss lady here from Denmark, she slided into my DMs on Instagram. Very out of the blue, I did not expect that. And I'm actually gonna go to her house to meet up with her. The girls from Blumen House, my favorite magazine. The woman have founded and owns a company, a Danish company called Rice. It's very colorful. Actually, my cutlery is by Rice. My beautiful gold cutlery with flowers engrave, engraves, engravings. It's gonna be amazing to meet the girls from Blumen House, but also, I mean, if I would love if I could be just somewhere, it's never gonna happen. That's really absurd to say, but Charlotte is really cool and what she's managed to create is just so admirable and if i could be just <laughs> in a similar position to where she is 20 years from now i mean it, she's someone to look up to and that is um yeah that's very exciting so i'm leaving in a bit I'm very blank considering I'm gonna meet the owner of Rice, but I have brought my jacket. This is the jacket I'm gonna wear. That's gonna be the pop of color. You can go completely black to meet Charlotte. That would be, that would just be weird. So I think I'm ready. The last fit check. luck I'm gonna go and try and make the best possible first impression good luck to me I'll turn off the lights I'm back from coffee and that was probably the biggest push of motivation you could give me her house guys was amazing she has my dream house the colors, the colors she's picked for her walls, her way of decorating her house was amazing. I think I can find an article to put down below where you can see some pictures of her house. Charlotte lived 
amazing and she was so sweet and so was the girls from Bloomin' House so I'm um, just that was so nice and I want to have a house like that one day I do badly the windows and everything was just so beautiful I'm picking up some products we'll go home and shoot them make some money <laughs> Tidying or spring cleaning the garden is really therapeutic for me. It's not until I remove the dead leaves and branches from the summer before I get to see everything that's popping up from underneath. Trying its hardest to find its way up to the light. It's like thousands of tiny spring signs which instantly makes my impatient wait for this time completely worth it. And it only felt right to start my garden version of spring cleaning by my yellow bush as it is without comparison the prettiest part of my garden right now. And that became the before and after of the yellow bush area and because I'm not someone who takes things in an order that makes sense, I went to the back of the garden to clear out this patio area so that I can finally bring out my cafe set. Gathering these fallen leaves was an easy task and it did make a big visual difference but there is still so much work to get done in the garden, roses to cut down and massive areas to clean such as this one and also this one and I really hope to get started this weekend. the recycling station and I also did a food shop on my way home. I plan to make a greasy pita bread for lunch. I'm really hungry and uh, yeah just um, as information in case you haven't noticed yes I look very tired today. I sleep very poorly these, these days and today I have a headache so we are reaching my limits I think but we are I still have a lot of work before seasons of lilac can launch tomorrow um but we are getting closer to the weekend that's good I worked through last weekend so it's gonna be nice with at least a day off that's the hope but peace bread and then I think I need a nap before I can continue working <laughs> Yeah. Mm. I'm back from my lunch break no nap because I couldn't sleep maybe it's for the best maybe it means that it will be easier for me to sleep through tonight gave my hair some treatment thinking about wearing this with the back forward maybe not <laughs> not with this outfit I ended up going for a vibe that's casual spring weekend mode 
with the sweater. That's the main thing I still need to shoot. So I tied the string for the waist around my neck instead. I'm gonna use a little bit of lipstick. Isn't that a pretty good Easter weekend vibe, cozy walk in the park? bagel with delivery from the city celebrating the launch two hours ahead still have a lot to measure up some orders to pack from the week I'm really hungry and super frustrated with oh my stomach I'm super frustrated with FedEx um, yeah incompetent that's what they are so the walls have street is probably not going to be here until monday um i would just have loved to have seen it and shown it to you this week but no no there's nothing i can do about it i picked tuna in a cheddar chili bagel peppers salad red onion if we just ignore that everything should have been ironed then this is a very lovely hawk of spring colors and also the jacket I've been wearing today is back in stock. She's been really popular. She's back in stock for the third time. There's no more I can do. Everything is measured up, listed, counted, photographed. What a marathon this week has been. You have no idea for how many hours I've been working and it's been too much. At least don't do this to yourself. Don't. You are one woman. I'm going to go to the back, pack some orders, and then in a few hours, everything is going to launch. And I've actually done something crazy. The web shop is purple. This is what the web shop looks like. Season of lilacs. At times I really overestimate how much one person can manage over the course of a week. And I even worked last weekend, but it's been so overwhelming. I've skipped so many meals. I have, I need a good nap, a nap. <laughs> I need a good night of sleep. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so overwhelmed. It feels amazing that I got through, but this is not a healthy amount of work. So I'm just going to see how I feel after the weekend. I might 
skip a collection next week since this week was so big and took so much of me so uh, we'll just see how I feel after the weekend but thank god I have ritual that made sure I got my vitamins this week because I have for sure not been eating them through meals so thank you so much for watching guys uh, this was whew, a crazy week Next one is going to be slower, hopefully with the wall tapestry and some cozy Easter vibes, um, that's going to be the goal. So thank you so much for watching, jump over and check out the new collection. The web shop looks fun and funky in lilac. All of the information to Rachel is going to be down below, 25% off. So. See you next week, guys. Bye.